and welcome to the part 5 of creating a sign up and login page for a hotel using HTML, CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap 4 and we are pretty much done with HTML and CSS part and in this part 5 we are going to create our terms and conditions page and our privacy policy page so first up uh, let me show you how it looks like so I'm going to copy the terms and conditions page from my uh, personal website that is the blog boy and paste it over here so it, it looks something like this and if you haven't already uh, please check out my website which has a blog on Chernobyl and I'm going to be uploading more blogs later on so this is how uh, terms and conditions page look like and this is a privacy policy page so uh, don't worry you don't need to type all this in you can just uh, you know, uh, use online generators like privacy policy generator and terms and condition generator. The link will be in the description. This is by the same company, and yeah, uh, I mean, I have used terms and conditions and privacy policy from um, uh, this two websites itself for my website. And the reason why you'll require a terms and condition page and privacy policy page is that uh, whenever you add Google AdSense and want to monetize your uh, let's say you want to monetize your website you will uh, the google adsense looks for these terms and condition page and the uh, privacy policy page and you know after reviewing both these pages it gives you the activation code and you know that's how you get your website monetized so if you are into these things you will require a privacy policy page and a terms and condition page so first up inside the terms and condition page i'm going to get started by typing I'm going to get started by typing HT and rest of the things will be auto completed and I'll name it as terms and conditions and I'm going to copy the same CDN link of bootstrap I'll paste it over here and let's leave the link blank for now we'll do it at the end like we did for the last one so now all you are going to do is again copy the nav bar and let's paste it over here save it and before uh, editing anything in html i'm going to copy this thing and add it on my oh, oh yeah let me just copy the whole thing and add it inside my footer down here and I'll not require any of the first two so I'm going to remove that and instead of terms and conditions I'm going to add privacy policy over here so pro not police privacy policy and I'm going to name it as privacy.html and as I said in the previous videos it's a good habit to create the file then and there privacy.html and we'll add elements to this a bit later on so let's just first work with terms and conditions and inside my terms and conditions I guess yeah I have the footer over here so I'm going to copy the same footer again and paste it after this nav tag and after my first nav bar i'm going to create a break line and i'll create a div class of container and i'm going to create a div class of jumbotron and save that now i'm going to select the whole thing from here copy it and just paste it inside my privacy.html file so here I'm gonna have login I mean the current is login so I'm gonna quickly change it to privacy policy if I can spell that right and let the home be there instead of terms and conditions I'll quickly give a login over here and let's change the links as well so login.html and this is privacy 
.html and down here I have privacy policy so I'm gonna remove this and put terms and conditions over here and I'm gonna connect it to t and c.html I did that twice sorry for that and we also have dnc over here so I'm gonna change it to privacy not html so we are done with uh, we are almost done with that we'll privacy policy we're going to edit our title as well and now if you go back and reload your site you will find that your terms and conditions page currently has nothing over here but you also have privacy policy and if you click on privacy policy there is nothing but you have terms and conditions over here in the footer and you have privacy policy over here uh, i don't think i have changed it in terms and conditions page no so i have to bring back terms and conditions over there so let me quickly do that inside my terms and conditions page the current one is login i'm going to change it to let me just copy it from here because it's too long to type and t uh, and c and over here i'm going to give login.html and change it to login and save that and now you can just jump back to your browser First up, go to Privacy Policy Generator. You can add any name you want over here. So let me just give hotel, not hotel, hotel and website name. Let's say hotel 101.n. I mean, website URL will be the okay. Wait, wait, wait. This will be the website URL. So copy it and paste it over here. Website name will be why do I make spelling mistakes? Hotel 101 and I'm gonna click on next. So does your website use cookie? Uh, let's just give no advertising through AdSense. Remember to give yes whenever you're creating it. And advertising from third parties, no. Let's just give next. Your country is I'm going to give India, but if you're an international viewer, you can give anything else. I'm going to give Karnataka and email address. Let me just give example at gmail.com. And then I'm going to click on generate my privacy policy. And I'm going to do the same thing in the terms and conditions as well. I'm going to give hotel hotel 101 and i believe even this is working hotel 101.10 i'm gonna give next doing the same thing india and email address example at gmail.com and give generate my terms and conditions and now your uh, terms and conditions or sorry the privacy policy page is generated over here so you can just copy the code which is here i'm going to copy it to clipboard and paste it inside my privacy policy page inside my jumbo form save that and do the same thing with terms and conditions.html as well it'll generate me my uh this is my terms and conditions page over here on the left hand side and on the right hand side you're going to see your code so let's copy that paste it over here save it I mean, this particular lecture is only for the people who are willing to have a career in website development. So whenever you're creating a website, it's really necessary that you have a terms and conditions and a privacy page for your website in order to get yourself monetized. Even if you don't want to get monetized, it's always good to have a privacy policy page and the terms and conditions page as well. So feel free to skip this if you want, but I'll suggest you guys to have it. So let's see if that has worked. I'm going to reload it over here. So you will get your terms and conditions. And you will also get your privacy 
probably this over here. So what I'm going to do now is connect it to the CSS that is index.ht uh, sorry index.css because we haven't had any extra elements that is not there in that CSS file and I'm going to do the same for my privacy.html as well. So let me quickly do it. So index.css and if I let's test everything if everything is working properly so if I'm gonna go on home it will show me a creating uh, my account page if I'm gonna let's let's test this button which will take me to my login page so even that is working and this we have created in our previous video and from here we can go to either privacy policy or terms and conditions so let's go to our terms and conditions page and there you have it you have your terms and condition inside the jumbotron and it looks good as well and privacy policy also looks very good so that's it for this video guys uh, feel free to skip it if you want but it's really good to have a privacy policy and terms and conditions page and in the next video i'm going to show you how to host a website basically so we have created our login page uh, terms and conditions privacy policy as well as our first page that is our landing page so yeah uh, just copy stuff out of bootstrap edit it as you like and again i'm going to say you guys to just go inside bootstrap just don't see whatever the documentation they provide you you will have a better understanding of a front-end website development and believe me you'll, you guys can make a better website than this so that's it for this video in the next video i'll be showing you guys how to host a particular website so stay in stay safe happy quarantine